Ludicrous Feed is proudly sponsored by Carloop. Data to empower Australia's EV revolution. Oh, seriously, the uh, hospitality here in China is next level. It's astronomical. There's so much food. The spread is absolutely incredible. Every meal has just been top notch. It's been just very well catered. I'm very happy to eat it, definitely. Wow, a mix of uh, Western and Eastern food. It's fantastic. Okay, we're back here at the runway. Denza D9, very luxurious looking MPV. And then out there, uh, just past the uh, pavilion here, there's uh, a few vehicles that we'll be test driving as well. So I'll try to capture all that for you today, guys. Might uh, walk through and uh, have a look, see what they've got. So we've got a uh, BYD C Line 7, which is the one I'm really interested in, full EV. Beautiful black as well, very really sleek. Check that out. Walk around here. I'll try to get in there as well, maybe. They just design them very well, don't they? BYD. Then you've got the Denza B5. Petrol's running, the engine. And then, yeah, DMO. So same platform as the BYD Shark 6. And then the white um, BYD C Lion 7, 07 EV. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and then this one looks good. This is the Denza Z9 GT. This looks really, really schmick. Wow. The lines on that, very aerodynamic. Looks almost like a Kia EV6 in some ways. Bit, maybe a bit shorter, but very, very aerodynamic. Very slick. Nice front uh, design there. It's cool. All right, we'll try and get all that today for you guys. And um, yeah, I'll just show you now. They've got the test track here, which is basically, <laughs> it's just like a mini Top Gear. They've got the witches hats, the cones throughout the runway. Should make for some good driving today. Oh, this one's off. Oh, two Sea Line 7s moving as well. Better get out of the way. Do a reverse in. Pedestrian warning sound, you can hear it. Ooh, that was close. Missed the cone. Nice. Not a bad sound, actually. Just subtle enough. Good job. Okay, quick walk around inside of the um, uh, Sea Line 7 for you guys. Wrap still on the scuff plate there. Electronic uh, power seats. Good uh, materials I'd expect from BYD, uh, sort of in the same vein as the seal, lovely uh, leather there. And then, the, oh, what about that? So the cluster screen's built into the dash now. That's nice, really quite plush. Gotta say, head up display, I can see there. Center screen, good cameras, very high def. Air conditioning vents, got um, uh, uh, wireless charging there, max 50 uh, watts, and then some more controls down here. Hey, that looks like my seal. Looks very reminiscent of that. Park brake, some more controls here in Mandarin Chinese, and then cup holders. Yep, very much like the seal again there. Um, I wonder if that's a screen there. I'll have to find out later on. And then, oh, have a look at this. I'll just show you on this side. That looks quite nice. That design, see, with the pull to open. Boot button there. Done audio once again. Let's see what that sounds like. Perhaps if I get a chance. A bit more storage down here. Oh, a few holes there. Maybe this is a pre-prod car. Uh, or at least not fitted out just yet. And then USB, uh, A USB C, <clears throat> and then a, what you call it, a SD card storage for dash cam, maybe. Let's have a look inside here in the back room. Let's check the door close. It's pretty solid. Gee, this will be so good, this sort of mid size SUV um, with this kind of build quality and, and cost. Full EV. Again, it looks very reminiscent of the seal. Well, this is new. Controls down here. It's different for my seal. That's right, yeah. Oh, another couple of ports there, USB-AC. I like the fact that it's UA, uh, USB-A-N-C. Flat floor, love it. Gee, they make good cars, BYD. Um, and then, oh, this is good. This is my, nice to have this pull down. Oh, hey, I'm starting to see um, a bit of a trend here. Some of the cars in China, I'm noticing the cup holders sort of uh, fold out like that and an extra bit of storage here. Very cool. And Isofix angles, as you'd expect. Is it, uh, oh, yeah, it's, oh, it's got a shade, hey. That's different from my seal too. 
the fact that you can open up now. Hey, nice one. This is what's lacking in a lot of the glass roofs in Australia, I've got to say, with our sun. I'm glad they listened to customer feedback. Now that they've got the glass roof. Brilliant. Okay. Little, uh, little window there in the back between the C and D. And is it a 60-40? Let's have a look. Yeah, 60-40. Great. Let's, um, let's have a look at the boot. Oh, no, I tipped over a witch's hat. I want to get in trouble here in China. Gee, they have a good from the back, don't they? Look at that. Look at the design. Look at the lines. The diffuser. It's such a, it's such a sporty looking vehicle for an SUV. I love it. The camera there. Got the wing through there with the, the gap. No rear um, wipers though. BYD, 07 EV, BRD in man, uh, Chinese. Let's open that. Yeah, 60-40. Oh, it leans back a bit more too. Okay, good. Uh, oh, hello, V2L, 2.2 kilowatt. Um, and then lights as well, Dyna audio speakers in the back. And let's see what's here. More storage as well. Gee, so impressive, honestly. Really, really nice. And then you've got the um, boot open shut as well. So good. Let's have a listen. Yeah. Very colourful bug just came out of the boot there. Look at this guy. It's like the first bug I've seen in China. Okay, let's uh, shut the door there. Okay, good sound. GT tyre, so like, I think GT is a Singaporean brand from memory. It's running on this uh, 235 50 R19 inch tyres. Okay, cool. Check it out, there's also a very deep frunk as well, front bonnet. It's pretty impressive, very usable space. I'm not sure whether we can play with the centre screen, but we'll do our best. Oh, it is a bit warm in here, let's see if we can put the aircon on. Boop, 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 boop. There we go, that's better. Whew. AC on, yeah, nice. Okay, let's have a look. So the sun is um, a bit glaring, so I'll try my best to... I mean, a lot of it's in Mandarin, but I guess we get the gist. Uh, in Chinese, I mean. But that's the AC screen, and... Notice that it's a lot more responsive now. I can change the backgrounds like that. Um, it's definitely different to the to my CEO. They, they've definitely upgraded it. The, uh, the UX and the entertainment screen, so... Yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully this is coming to Australia, this upgrade, but I don't, I'm not sure about that, to be honest with you. Uh, all the settings are now like this, so this is more familiar to, um, I guess, the rest of the market. Tesla, Xpeng's got it, Zika, they all sort of look like this now with the settings on the left. So a lot more user-friendly than the current, um, I guess, system uh, that the SEALs and the 03s and Dolphins have in Australia. Um, we can still turn the screen around like that, that's cool, that's standard. Um, so that's nice to have. Look at them. Uh, and hopefully Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well will come standard with the vehicles too, so nice. And then the apps are there, you can split the screen like that, yeah, that's good. And then let's have a look at the whole cluster screen, have a look at this. So now um, you can have visualization, so that's good. You finally see visualizations in real time, people walking around the vehicle, other cars as well. And then you've got the efficiency there, stats for nerds. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully that's for the, uh, for the sort of last, since last charge. I've got uh, uh, state of charge and uh, estimated range too, so. Yeah, I like this center screen actually. Um, it's quite visual. Quite good, and then you've got the cluster um, steering column. We've got paddles now, that's not in my seal. So paddles, maybe, for regen setting, who knows. Um, and they have the steering column looks a lot nicer. Overall, is this still manual shift up and down? I think so, yes, it is a manual shift up and down. Uh, right hand indicate, left hand indicate, but this is a, uh, this is a left hand drive car, so that's fair enough. You can hear it, same indicator sound as, uh, Previous vehicles, cool. All right, and then auto wipers I can see too as well. Whoa! Yes. Wonderful. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that is Lapsa. fantastic. Yes. Good driver. Lapsa. Okay, Tom, I think you might hit some of these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, this oh. is the standard we have to achieve. Okay, yeah, no okay right. right. You have wow. one driver. <laughs> is this all-wheel drive? Oh. oh. steer, it has to be all-wheel, is it? Okay. Well, it's pretty grippy. This is fantastic. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> awesome. Oh, <laughs> showing off now. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic.
plastic. Oh wow. Okay, Tom, you ready to go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm allowed to do this, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now we're in the BYDC Line 7, let's do it. Thank you again. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> okay, 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 good, thanks. <laughs> I'm okay too. Yeah, baby. Okay. hear the, the tires spinning round and round. That's what's happening out there. <laughs> cool trick. Okay. 你好,他是什么是关门? Yes. Oh. Should I try? No. Okay. So, so don't worry. Uh, 登志是吗? 你好,他是. 你好,他是. 你好呀。关门? Uh, 好嘞,正在关闭车门。Oh, oh, so pro driving us first. Oh my goodness. Yes, that's why I didn't have lunch. Oh yes, so two lefts. Oh. Tight happy in here. Left. Okay, break here and then figure right. One for break. Okay. Figure right here. Okay, then back on this track. <laughs> you had fun. <laughs> I had fun too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no accounts. <laughs> okay, let's go.
Okay, good. <laughs> okay, go, go, go. I'll go bowl. Fun. Yes. So we are in the BYD Shark 6 now, right hand drive. Oh, this, is, this is more like it, right hand drive. Never drive this on the roads in Sydney like this, but hey, what the hell? Whoa! Oh, almost got the cone. It's not my car, not my tyres, so I'm gonna have fun with it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Getting used to the track now. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're here at the Terracotta Warriors, and but I'm still uh, car spotting. This is a Neo right here in the car park. Let's have a look at the back. UT5. Okay. Nice. Alright, so here we go. The ticket office is over there, but it doesn't seem too crowded just yet. So um, we're on a tour, and uh, Mary is uh, holding a rabbit, which we have to follow. And, uh, it's actually quite sunny today, and not too hot, like maybe sort of mid to high 20 degrees Celsius, but it's certainly hot weather. All right, so we're going to hop in an EV now to uh, head to the next destination. Might go in the back. Love riding these EVs on the trip. Oh, the acceleration. Suspension, eh, not so much. So we got a bit of a history lesson uh, on the bus ride from the tour guide, and they told us that uh, these warriors were discovered in 1974 by a farmer uh, looking for water. And uh, he found the first couple of warriors, and they're still actually excavating them today. They've only found them like 8,000 uh, out of a very large area. And that gentleman is actually still around. Uh, he's being compensated, but not compensated by the government now. And as we're walking there, if you're curious, uh, the story goes that the original uh, emperor of China, the Qin Emperor, basically uh, built this tomb, this mausoleum, with you know lots of soldiers to basically keep him safe in the afterlife. And uh, he was basically the one that united China as one kingdom. So that's, uh, that's the story of the warriors. And obviously the uh, warriors have now put uh, Xi'an on the map. Um, and it's certainly a place to visit in China outside of Beijing and Shanghai. And fun fact of the um, 8,000 that they've actually excavated so far, only 2,000 have been reconstructed. So still a lot of work left to go and archeologists are still working on it as we speak. 
So in front of me is pit number one, there's pit number three behind it, that's pit number two. Most of the reconstructed soldiers are in here, so looking forward to seeing inside. All right, so heading into pit number one. This should be the uh, best representation of the warriors inside here. Wow, amazing. I can't even capture all of that. <laughs> Quite a sight to behold, actually. So another fun fact is that every single one of these faces is different. The, uh, it was designed that way so that it was essentially a genuine army to protect him in the afterlife. Emperor Chin the scan across the crowd there, every single face is different. That in itself is amazing. There's another angle in this corner. So more fun facts is that the emperor actually created basically, uh, why should I say, maybe a river or a moat of mercury around his tomb, which is still here today somewhere. It's not excavated because of the mercury. He wanted, um, I guess he wanted his body to be protected from the elements and also from uh, invaders and tomb raiders. He did a good job because even today um, that has stopped excavation around his actual tomb. Of course, I'm trying to verify that claim about the mercury, but yeah, I guess uh, people are still worried about actually excavating that part. It's hard to fact check that very poisonous substance. Yeah, these look like um, horses maybe. As I said, it's a working archaeological site, so stuff is being excavated all the time. Wow, look at these. These are great. It's so clear. You get so close to them. There are horses amongst them too, in this bit. Another fun fact too is that uh, a lot of weapons were buried as well, so they're always finding uh, bronze you know, parts of uh, uh, the weapons in these pits. So this is pit number three, one of the smaller pits. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, so literally just like parts. I'm not reconstructed yet. There's a few over here. Headless. A few more warriors. Obviously called terracotta because they're made of clay. Yeah, that's so cool. Middle of pit number three. See a chariot potentially and uh, four horses. It's amazing. As you can see, it's, a, it's an archaeological site. It's still in progress, of course. But the scale of these buildings is incredible. Let's go into pit number two. All right, so this is pit number two. It's uh, another enormous excavation site. Not a lot of warriors to see on this side, but you can see some uh, modern techniques being applied to get them out. This one's a bit more interesting. You can see uh, bits of bodies and maybe horses in these pits. Cavalrymen, charioteer, high-ranking officers, all distinct and unique. Here you can see a bit more work in progress. All right, let's check out the typical relics unearthed from the pits. And, uh, here's a really good example, a standing archer. This one, of course, is quite popular. It's a horse with a rider. See if I try to get a bit closer. Okay. There we are. Quite a good shot. Cavalryman with his saddled rebels. Middle ranking officer, not getting as much love, but still pretty amazing. Everybody wants to see the high ranking officer. There you go. High uh, ranking officer. He's very stately. Oh, here's a clear shot of him. It is hard to get amongst the crowd sometimes. This one's quite crowded, so let's have a look. This is the kneeling archer. Oh, yeah, this one's beautiful. You see why he's getting love. Okay, so this is the exhibition hall, World Heritage, and rightly so. I would assume the best examples are all in here, under lock and key. Look at the history of how it was found, I guess. I right, see so a little walkthrough. Bronze tripod, first emperor of the Qin dynasty. Right in the Qin, politics, United China. Bit of history on the mausoleum itself. Four stages of development. Some artifacts here. Stone pillar foundation. 
Drainage. Over here, some more artifacts. Iron instrument of torture. Mm. Some more artifacts. Mm, nice examples of some warriors. Figure of hands and sleeves. Figure of hands and sleeves. Two of them. I'm gonna whip around these guys because I haven't got too much time here. A tight schedule, but you can get the idea. Amazing. Yelling Archer again. Here is a great example of the chariots. Wow. Wow, great shot from the side as well. Amazing. Some more warriors. All warriors and faces. Example of the different faces of uh, all the warriors. Everyone's different. This is cool, with armor. And examples of weapons here on this side. Look at that. It's quite intricate for these artifacts. Ooh, animals. More warriors. More artifacts. Workers working hard, getting ready for the next day. And a bit of a timeline on this place. All right, someone said durian, so have to have one. Well, street wears on the floor here. Quite pretty, actually. Everywhere. A lot of uh, pomegranates for sale. That's kind of like the fruit of the city here in Xi'an. I thought they really capitalized on this area, just um, the walk out of the terracotta warriors through like a bazaar, I guess marketplace selling wares and stuff but also shops on the side feels like you're walking out of a theme park right like universal studios they've got the bit outside where you can buy stuff it's a toyota bz3x all right so tonight's dinner is in a theater with a show as well Wow, what a treat. Please don't give us such a like, No, I love to take food too. Yeah. It's like, it's like So, uh, this theatre that we had dinner and the show, it's quite nice, uh, both inside and outside. A little bit Art Deco as well. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you in sport mode? <laughs> oh, oh my dear. Yeah. <laughs> Where now? Where? Do a donut, donut. Oh, here? Oh, the slalom. Yeah. Where's the cone? Where am I going? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, well, figure right. Oh, there, there. Okay, okay. I see, I see. Okay.
Go. Straight? Blue, blue. Slow. Stop. 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 <laughs> Ready? Okay, go. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, too many cones. Sorry. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, stop, 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 stop. 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 Broken the car. Uh oh, I've done something. Oh, the cone was caught in the car. Okay, he's under the car now. He got it out. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Cone again. I gotta start again. Okay, okay. I want to do that again. Well, can I do it one time, please? One more time? Uh, I promise I won't hit the coins. Okay, one time. Okay, one more time. Okay, okay. Sorry. Okay, one more.